All right, so this is how the car looks. Today we're gonna be installing this snorkel intake on the Ford Focus RS. Um, right now it's all blue, but I'm thinking of changing it to just all black with the blue front snorkel. We're gonna put it on, I'm gonna show you the install and then um, show the end product. All right guys, so this is all you're gonna be needing. So I got this clutch DeWalt, not impact gun clutch, so that, and I kept it on five. So it doesn't strip out the bolt, a five millimeter Allen key, a flat head for popping out all the clips, and this is a metal one, but if you have a plastic one, that'll be even better, but I just put a fabric on it and it worked great. Um, I use this for my engine base screws. Don't know, the, forgot the name of it right now, but it's good. And then these are all my bits. I use the black, which is the S18 if you have this one and the star bit for inside the uh, wheel well. So it works great, this is all you'll need and I also recommend a metal magnet uh, pan for all your uh, um, screws and stuff just so you don't lose it and make sure if you're gonna put them in a bag, label them because it's, afterwards it took me a long time to figure which, which went where just because there were so many and I just forgot. So make sure you label them to make uh, um, assembly again a lot quicker. The stuff set up on the floor. I gotta take off now. We gotta take off the bumper. I'm also gonna lift up the hood to make life easier. Well, you kind of have to get all the clips, but I'm gonna transfer you guys now to the GoPro. So you gotta do clip, 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 and this will be the normal clip. If you guys are wondering, I have an aftermarket um, intake. I'm gonna try to one day get a aftermarket intake box, and um, this cover, I wanna change for a carbon fiber one, but right now we're gonna keep it. But let's get to taking off the clips. All right, so the bumper came off. I'll show the clips later. There's a ton of freaking clips. Now we have the compressed air. We're gonna clean all this out. And this is how it's going to go. The blast tech is going to go right here. And then I'm just going to snip here with some garden hose, uh, garden clips and make the right cut. Remember, small, small on passenger, large on um, driver. So I gotta cut a little bit more here. All right, so I just cut it. I use a drum to finish, doing some finishing touches. Now we got the velocitor tool. Cut the air intake off because I had to release this. So the other piece on the floor right there. And that's the intake. This is good. This is good. So now I have room to stick the Allen in here. Now I already have the screw in here, which one right here. So I'm gonna grab this. I don't really know why I put it in already, but hey man, you do things. So now it's going through, perfect. 
Grab this. Make sure it's through. It's in. Okay, it's good for now. Now we got this side. Actually, we're just gonna disassemble this a little bit. Take this out completely. So how that was done. I'm gonna get a smaller Allen for this, it's not gonna work. Try to tighten it. All right. Now we're tightening it. It's good. too tight okay good it's not going anywhere so now it's pressed up against here good not too tight not too crazy that's the engine bay all right now i'm gonna get some water and some nut towels and just wipe it all down oh wow and this is from the pressure so let's take all right let's get it Yes, 
Uh, not right now, not today. I hope you can open up, but I don't think I want to do that until I get my suspension taken off properly. Just because I want to try and trigger something. Let me do this. He's good. Close it first. Close it. He's going to drop me in the room, but still. Come on, bro. Why? Okay, well. Dude, I hate this thing so much. It's supposed to be a quick attachment. Hold it up. It doesn't work. The base one. The base one. Off, I got the power washer and some soap and stuff. Keep it clean. And now I'm gonna wash the inside of the bumper, just like the parts that I've been haven't been able to get because it's on the car. So we're gonna do that. And then yes, yeah, this is what the car looks like right now. It's on a lift. Just got the floor. I just washed the front completely off, and then I'm also gonna clean the headlights just because everything's off and I'm gonna clean it. And yeah, I'll... so I just finished washing the bumper, which is over there. Car has been clean in the engine bay area, good enough for now. Um, I'm gonna start putting everything together, but it's not gonna be any POV because my camera died. So I'm just gonna put everything on by on, like on a, as as I go, and then um, little by little I'll show you the progress. And if there's any trouble of me putting stuff back on, then I'll let you know. All right, so this is how the car looks with the snorkel. Looks pretty good. Don't know how I feel with the color. I might change it to something darker. But uh, actually looks pretty good. And also, as you can see, I haven't washed it. But I also took off the little uh, plastic cover that comes on the intercooler. Just because everyone's done it and it's just for four they put it on so they um, don't get like heat soak issues or something like that. So I ended up taking it off. And um, yeah, that's how it looks like. And next, I'm gonna do um, light restoration. As you can tell, it's kind of like crusty crap. I don't know what this is, honestly. But um, yeah, it's all this part up top needs to be redone. But yeah, it does not look new. So that's the next video.